Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Yuki Sparkles. Hello. Rooster Teeth is so sorry. Again. Oh, I'm sure they were going to be sorry. Of course they were. Again. Rooster Teeth, so sorry again for employee allegations. Again, for like the 15th time in three years. Uh, we did a video the other day talking about how uh, Caden from Achievement Hunter made some uh, you know, pretty scathing allegations against the company and how uh, they were mistreated. And uh, now we have to issue an apology. This is like rinse and repeat. Uh, repeat. It's like every freaking other month, there's some scandal with rooster teeth. Well, it gets to the point where like, you know, oh, we're sorry again. It's like, but if you're sorry, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. Like the first couple times, okay, maybe. But then it gets to the place where like, if you really were sorry, you wouldn't have done it. I just don't understand how this company is still in business. I, I mean, I don't either. I mean, the only time you hear about them, the only time you even hear about them anymore, it's it's in conjunction with some sort of allegation, shenanigans, failure, layoffs, racism, sex, whatever. Like, I have never seen a company just be the the embodiment of like walking PR disaster that Rooster Teeth is, and still stay in business. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Over two hundred and seventy seven thousand subs. Thank you so much for the support. We've been kind of following the Rooster Teeth thing for a couple of years now, being into animation and uh, internet culture, and it's amazing how far and how fast this company has fallen. And uh, you know they've got quite the. Uh, Quite the stands for them too. Our most downvoted video in the history of Clownfish TV was when we started talking about allegations of uh, misconduct. Which turned out to be true. Which turned out to be true. They fessed up, it's true. Uh, but people could not believe that uh, their rooster teeth on air personalities would, would do such a thing. They would have uh, flings. Sadly, they did. And they did. And we've had lots of people get fired. We had uh, you know, come out that the reason that they can produce the amount of content they produce is they do it with unpaid labor with uh, Ruby and Genlock. And and uh, now this latest debacle is actually making freaking Deadline. I mean, Deadline's talking about it. You know, you got problems because usually Deadline doesn't pay much attention at all to Rooster Teeth. Um, so we'll, we'll go there first. So, yeah, uh, Rooster Teeth, a gaming, they have to explain what they are. They have to explain what they are because most people don't give a shit. Rooster Teeth, a gaming and fan community owned by Warner Brothers Discovery. So that's what they want to get Warner's attention. They want to get Zaslav's attention. Apologizes for hate and mistreatment after former staffer complains about slurs and unfair pay. Again. Mm -hmm. Again. So at least they're denying it. They're not denying it. I'll give them that much. Yeah, so they're talking about uh, Caden Jensen, who worked for the uh, company as a content creator and editor from 2013 to 2022. Uh, didn't get paid for squat, got called Fugs, and that turned out that Fugs was actually short for a bundle of sticks. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so here's, here's what happened. They had to go on another apology tour. Another apology tour. <sighs> it only got 2,000 likes. They're really not like... People don't even pay attention They don't anymore. even care. They're like, no one's going to watch this video. They probably won't. They're probably going to be like, Rooster Teeth, they're still a thing? Oh, my God. As a company, we sincerely apologize for the hateful and harmful behavior that occurred in the past. We must do better. We are sorry. Here's what we've done to improve. We put an entirely new HR team, the people team, <laughs> upper management and corporate oversight in place in 2020, leading to major actions and protocols. These resources allowed us to immediately investigate claims made over the last couple of days. Uh, these days. But they're claiming this was in 2020, but the claims went up for a while. I know. And they're just like, oh, we were able to investigate it quickly in the last few days, even though we ignored it until we got called out uh, you know, openly and to the public. <sighs> Upon investigation, we confirmed Caden's work was paid in full according to our agreements. We will honor our agreements and address any outstanding payments. How would there be any outstanding payments if you said his work was paid in full? The work, Caden's work was paid in full. Right. But we're going to honor any uh, outstanding agreements, uh, outstanding with, payments to her. With, with any other people that maybe we underpay, right? Well, there's still room to grow. 
We have gone to great lengths to minimize crunch, especially in animation. We removed previous management, are actively implementing key hires across the company and have integrated management training to develop better schedules and practices. But, we got busted. But the crunching in animation was a couple years ago. and that's Why are we that, bringing it up now? Well, because we did. But that's not the point. <laughs> but that's not what she was complaining about. The crunch, but not in, I don't think it was in that, was it? It was editing videos. Was that for animation? Uh, yeah. Well, in the animation, they were, yeah, they were abusing. I knew that, but was Caden doing the animation videos? I don't think so. I think just, I think gaming content. I think she's doing gaming content. Then that's not related. No, but I think it's all, basically what's Someone going on brought now. that up with us. What's going <laughs> on, I'm telling you, because of these allegations, because it's in freaking deadline, it's on Kotaku, it's on all these sites. Hey, Warner Brothers Discovery, boom, we're going to send a flare up to Zazlab. They know their ass is grass, and they're basically just... These tweets are not for their fans. These tweets are for Warner Brothers Discovery They're executives. Hey, Rooster Teeth. How you doing there? How, How you, you doing? doing? How you doing? <sighs> I can just picture whoever's typing this up. New leadership proactively took corrective action by creating pay bans for the first time in 2020. And yeah, we had a bunch of scandals back then. And adjusting employee pay to meet market values. In 2020. In 2020. We recognized past low wages and implemented tools to ensure continued pay equity, paid internships, and paid overtime. In 2020. The complaints were back from 2013 on, and they still apparently had complaints after 2020. Here at Rooster Teeth, we've stopped fucking our groupies. In 2020. No, uh, no, but they yeah, didn't actually of. say that. Uh, they might as well say that, though. As part of our DEI, DEI efforts, we established six business resource groups in 2021 to inspire change within our culture. Leadership was initially voluntary, and this summer we implemented a compensation plan for this essential work. This policy will continue going forward. So basically made up these things and then said it was voluntary and then people complained so they paid them in 2021. Yes. So as of last year and the year before that, we did stuff, even though apparently you didn't or people wouldn't be coming out now and complaining about it. Okay. Uh, we want to continue to uplift diverse voices in our company and community and content and have the challenging conversations necessary to grow and create inclusive, welcoming environments. Uh, well, yeah. calling the person slurs is probably not the way to do that. When this person apparently told them repeatedly they did not like to be called that, given what it was, you know, short for. They were told to quit. Yeah, right. They are told to quit and they didn't do it. That's how, that's how, they, that's how they, they, they enforce this. It's fine. We're, we're doing these policies. But how we, how we deal with the problem is that they don't, people don't like it. We just tell them to quit. Hate and mistreatment have no place here. We've been committed to change. To avoid, since 2020. Since, since 2021. To avoid repetition and remain accountable. You only have 400 likes. Nobody gives a shit. We continue to encourage staff to reach out directly to the people team. So they don't want to call them HR because that sounds, that sounds threatening. So they're literally calling them the people team? Hi, I'm the people person from the people team. That's weird. Here to... Talk to people about things. Content update. We're reducing Rooster Teeth. Oh. We're reducing Rooster Teeth programming and content this week. You know who else did that right before the end? D4, yeah. <clears throat> We're taking time to reconnect with one another. What the hell does that mean? We'll be back to making content next week. We're going to have a lot of meetings and, and we have to do a lot of work to cover our asses and to try to hide things. Do not harass Rooster Teeth staff. Many of them are actively working to make Rooster Teeth a better place. Mika now, because we got caught. Now, Mika Burton, who called it out like two years ago, was like, yeah, HR protected every instance of abuse I reported. And after I spoke to current management in 2020 and complained about my HR treatment, I learned that the HR dude still worked there. That's because they only changed. They said they changed it in 2020. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, my God. Basically. That's it. Workplace toxicity is no more. Yeah, um, I remember very distinctly the wrath of Twitter when we reported on the Achievement Hunter guys banging their groupies. That, that there were DMs, there were receipts, and it was probably like 95% a done deal. And holy shit, did we get so much blowback. And everybody's like, yep, just put a fork in rooster teeth, they're done. Clownfish was right. Put some money in the fish bowl, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're done. Um, I work for Rooster Teeth and don't feel they're lying, says Cody. Okay, so let's, let's just, as a bit of an update here, um, another 
another worker there, Alana Pierce, put a video out uh, where she basically said that, uh, yeah, you know, everything said was true. And this is another person who left, I think it was last year or the year before. One, I can't even keep track of all the people that have left Rooster Teeth over the last couple of years, one way or another. Um, I'm telling you, at some point in the very, very near future, again, making deadline for uh, this reason, uh, they're going to shut them down. They're going to shut them down, sell them off. I think the reason that Ruby's being outsourced to Japan right now, that they're rebooting it, is so it's so much easier just to be like, you know what? The anime is doing fine. Mm -hmm. We'll just take we this. keep that. We'll keep that. We'll just take this IP of yours. Yeah, and the rest of you, yeah, you, you're, you're done. You're done. Um, just I just think it's weird stop. that we're, 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 we're not making content this week so we can reconnect with each other, which either means they're going to wrap it up or it, it means that they're just basically having meetings about how could this happen? See something, say something, but we're going to tell you to quit. Rooster Teeth is completely and absolutely fucked. There's, there's no. Like every other, like every uh, year or something else. They, they should have been shut down two years ago. Because they're going to say, Clownfish wasn't right because you said they were going to shut down before this. So, <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, they're, they're absolutely, they're, they have nothing of value. I mean, Ruby is not even worth what it was a couple of years ago. Um, nobody's watching their live streams now. They've, they've got a bunch of freaking perverts working for them and all this shit. Apparently they, they call people names, derogatory names. Yeah, so I, there's nothing, just shut it down. I mean, of all the well, cuts. The bad thing is there's going to be a lot of people who were innocent that are going to lose yeah. their job again. Well, it happens all the time. I know, it's sad because you know? call people behave so badly and it makes it hell for everybody else and they were trying to save money by cr making everybody crunch and all this other shit that um, the people that have worked and that aren't involved are going to lose their jobs too. It's, it is what it, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I'm just shocked that they're still around. I mean, they've been trying to sell them. I don't even think you can sell this company at this point. There's so much. It's a damaged brand. It's a damaged brand. I mean, this is like the freaking ripped open bag of Oreos in the corner of the grocery store sitting in the cart by itself under the dented can of beans. Nobody wants. If it was expired. ripped open package, you probably threw it away. No, because, you know, somebody might want them. Just tape it up and hope somebody will. Ooh, I don't think so. That's that's what Rooster Teeth is, just used Oreos. Could have been worse. <laughs> Your been. Oreo analogy will take it, because I you could have gone worse. Anyway. I could have. I was thinking of something else. I know you were thinking of it, because when you paused, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. But then you, you saved it, so it's all good. I did. I pulled it out. That's right, because you... You might want to you want to promote sometimes, you might want to promote this video, and if you say too much bad things, you can't. Sometimes, if you pull it out, you can save it again. The video. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Please do. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. This is why it's a good thing that we're not owned by Warner Brothers, because I don't even I don't think we'd be in business either. Can we wrap this up? We're wrapping it up. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.